back. We're back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome. All right, man. Um, my phone's on mute. Everything's on mute. You good Yo, before you start, I went to Cheers Coffee. You were like, no, you want to cheer my no, coffee. Why? We can't Cheers Coffee, bro. What? You, you just said it's like what? It's like a man drinking out of a straw. Like wow. That's you, sexist. Just, you just That's don't do sexist. it. That's sexist. It's not. Is, is there certain things you just don't do? So like, men, I, men can't drink out of straws. Men cannot drink out of straws. So you just wow. don't do it. Please you hear don't. that? Um, mm. That and uh, there's a proper way to eat a banana in public. There's just certain things. <laughs> well, well, we're starting this one off. I, I'm, just, I'm just very serious. I'm, I'm so serious. Like you need to break the banana up. If you're a man, do not Yo. freaking take an entire banana and bite into it. Yo, that's it's, funny. I'm so serious. Don't do that. Uh, you, your alpha is like massively showing right now. I would, but this is, but this is, you know, I, I should have like a class or something. I don't know. To, hey, to we'll, we'll have a podcast on what men should do in public. <laughs> Please do not. Hey, if you think that's a great idea, go yeah, ahead and comment I'm, down I'm, below. I'm let us know. I'm, I'm saying it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's, yeah. it, we'll, we'll do that one. Live. I'm going to try and sit up straight yeah. more this time. I was, yeah. No, it's less. I've been slouching a lot. But. Yeah, no, we'll do that one live because I feel like the feedback would be great. Oh, that true, true. We could do that one live. That'd be yeah, interesting. That'd be cool. Yeah. And right. then maybe we will have a, a female guest and we'll host how females should be in public. I'm with that. All right. Sounds good. I'm with that. We can call people and bring them in too. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, cool. Absolutely. So what's going on? Uh, nothing, man. Uh, what's, oh, did we even do a podcast last we week? We didn't do a podcast last we week. We didn't do a podcast crazy last week. Crazy busy. That's how crazy stuff. I think you had like a, a nail appointment or something. I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, my hands make me an absorbent amount of money. I have to take care of these things. If I can't type. Agreed. Agreed. If I can't type. It's over for Agreed. everyone. Agreed. <laughs> but I, did, I didn't even have a no appointment. Whatever, dude. Uh, <laughs> but no, I mean, no. I mean, you had to reschedule. I had to reschedule. For your hair appointment. Yeah, because, you know, and then in place of that, I had to reschedule that because I had my massage. Right, 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 right. So, and then you had to get your shape up. I, hey, the life I'm living is great. Uh, hey. Yeah, I can't complain. Just don't drink a straw in public. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Right. Yeah, I, you can get your nails done, pedicures and manicures, but please, no drinking straws. Don't drink straws. Or eating bananas. Facts. Hey, all, right. all right. Moving yeah. on from Moving that. On. I mean, no, we'll get so stuck on that. How was my week? My week was crazy. I think we just did, uh, what did we do? Like, a, I think I did two email migrations. What did we do? Onboard, two clients. We got two new clients, so Onboard that's clients. always yay. That's always crazy, yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, planning out project, onboarding, all that good stuff, gathering information. It's a lot of admin stuff up front. So, yeah. Um, and then comes the fun part, you know, the projects, the engineering, <clears> and, <throat> you know, the fun stuff. So, exactly. other than that, man, yeah. What about you? I know. It's all over the place. Yeah. All know. kinds of stuff. Planning for a trip. Planning for a big trip. Got a, a deal that we're out. doing in South Carolina and yep. um, get to go down there and, and uh, see my boy while I'm down there. And, uh, Enjoy the time. Project's pretty cool. So we're doing. Uh, do you want to talk about that for a second? Yeah, we talk about that real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You do, or you said we yeah, did? Let's do it. Ah, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> I was going to make a joke. I was like, going to make a joke, but I was roll, like, no, let me roll stop. sleeves up. Yeah, exactly. I'm ready. Let's up. go. <clears throat> so no, it's it's actually very interesting project, but very. Uh, I, I mean, we've done it a couple simple. times. I mean, you've done it. Yeah, yeah, we've done it a couple times. So we have a client that has two pieces of property on a nice piece of land. Um, and then what they want to do is they paid for uh, fiber underground to go to the main building, um, which is going to be obviously their internet access. And then they have a building over yonder, we'll say, down in South Carolina. Isn't that over, what they say? Over yonder. over yonder. I don't know, dude. Why is it over yonder, not under yonder? That's because and, it's, anyway, it's or, <laughs> below the Mason-Dixon line, so you uh, say over there. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so in any case, so building one has hard underground fiber to it. They need an internet to the other building, but instead of paying an enormous amount of money to have fiber drug underground over there, yeah. we're gonna do uh, a wireless shot over there. So we're gonna use wireless bridges. We're gonna put one on each side, create a secured wireless tunnel from bridge to bridge. Um, and we're gonna get high speed connection between the two. So- uh, That was full gig, right? What's that? Was it full gig? Uh, we, yeah, there's a full gig option to do full gig, secured, its own private network. Um, so what happens is the internet comes in, hook it to a switch, yeah. distribute it throughout the, the building, yeah. and then uh, plug from the switch into the, the main bridge, shoots it across 
the land. The other bridge picks it up. Boom. Out of that goes to another switch, set up to the other side of the network. Bada bing, bada now we've created one big network over the air, so to speak. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then we'll set up some some guest networks and things down there, uh, all using uh, Ubiquity products. Yeah. So Make life simple. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that stuff's amazing. Shout out to Ubiquity. Uh, for yeah, we, some, should, we should do some reviews on those. Yeah. I mean, we never really did reviews, so we could do some reviews. I mean, we fun. review it ourselves. We go back and forth with specs. And right, 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 right. The way we like look at products is sometimes a very drawn out, mm. very drawn out process. Yeah. So when we're, we're deploying something, it's not just fly by night. Oh, this looks cool. Just throw it in there. Requirements no, analysis. Yeah. 101. Yeah, yeah. Go through it. We'll buy a couple different products. We'll test it. We'll, we'll pop it up. We'll stress test it. You know, throw some stuff in there make sure, hey, does it still work? You know, ease of use. Um, can we do manage it remotely? Um, yeah. I mean, the biggest piece is managing it remotely because, I mean, a lot of clients are just not in our back door anymore. And a big part is, is that manufacturer, that vendor doing updates. Yeah. For you know, cyber security issues. Cyber security, yeah, and you know, and just just that. So, is it cool? Is it is it work? Is it cool? All right, cool. And and does it meet the mission? Is it, <laughs> Can is it we cool? accomplish the mission with it? Is it cool? So and this, and this would I mean it's it's going to be great. It's going to save the client a lot of money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To be able to uh, get high speed internet to a remote location. I mean, it looks good too. Versus oh, with yeah. that last the it's last clean. bridge at the um, number. Oh, for the homeowners association. Yeah. That was yeah, cool. that was interesting. That was that was um uh what do they call it? Point to multi point. Yeah. So what we did was out of the main building, we shot over they wanted wireless network at the pool. Yep. So we shot one over there to give them wireless access there. And then their clubhouse building was on the other side of their property. So we shot one over there. So because they held held a lot of um in person events over this yeah. was two years ago. But like in person events over there. But the size of that thing is it was daunting. It yeah, looked, it was like a. It was it uh, freaking ugly. It was like a yeah, a big square dinner plate. Yeah, but now they're like. They this is streamlined, yeah. cendrillic looking. Yeah, the, the the weight of it's like. Oh, the weight is like pound and a half or yeah, something. Yeah, it's freaking amazing. So, I mean, I love it. I think it looks great. Yeah, and there it's true Poe, which is awesome. Poe plus by Poe plus actually, yeah, yeah it's Poe plus. So. Yep. Yeah, a secondary line in there too. I think. Yeah, so if, so example, if you wanted to put a camera on the outside of the building, yeah, you, you come right out of there. Second, you know, PoE right. port and put a camera up there if you wanted to. I love it, man. I, I think it's cool. I mean, the way technology is just moving, everything's just. It is. It's 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 pretty wild, and they can manage it with their phone. You can manage it with your phone. <laughs> you manage it with your phone. With your Another phone. app. Another. app. There's an app for that. For we everything. have an app for everything. Exactly. So that's yeah. So that's a pretty cool project. So I'm getting ready to head down to South Carolina right. in the next day or so. Take care of that. And yep. Enjoy the weekend. Just picked out the hotel, so kind of get that stress off of there. You called and made a hotel. Room. <laughs> you said Actually, you were going to yeah, talk yeah. about. I did. This. I did. Yeah, you I said did. you said you were going to make fun of no, me. No, right? no, no, no. So. Who in the world calls to make a hotel reservation? Hey, if, if you call to still make reservations, whether it's at a hotel or a restaurant, please let us know down below because this guy thinks I've never. Done I'm it. the only one. I've, that n- calls. I've never. I've never called. That's you, but you are a unique individual. I'm just saying, like I, I've never known someone to actually call and then say, like, what do you? I mean, did you like? Did you pull out? The no, because that, you're a believer that everything you read on the internet is real. No, so. is it? Is it like? I mean, did you? Did you, did you did you like get the white pages or the yellow pages? Which one was that? Like you know, did you like no, scroll actually, through and and say, hey, I don't know. Like did you, I did my research. I you looked. Did the research. I, I I picked the price range. How are you going to get there? What do you mean? I'm did you my... print out the rest? No, of I didn't print. Quest? No, this ain't no MacQuest <laughs> stuff. That's funny. We used to do that back in the day. Hey, and then when you would hit your brakes, the one page would fly, fly down the bottom. Like, oh, you're like, oh shit, where am I going? Exactly. That's I what can't I follow. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to just imagine yeah. and just see how nah, far. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad. All right. Cool. I mean, you're talking back to the future stuff. No, I'm just saying. No, it wasn't that old. Right, right, wasn't that old. No. So I did my research. I picked, you know, where the location where I'm going. Look sweet as shit. The cost. Yeah. How much I was willing to spend, and then I put some in my notes, and then. I looked online, looked at the reservations, and I called. Then I called. Because you never know. Because then it says, click here to make a reservation. <laughs> but I called, and I was on hold, and I sat there, and I uh, spoke to a person. And, I uh, like speaking to people. I don't like, you know me, like, we talked last time about the auto attendants. I cannot stand you know, auto attendants. sat auto attendants hey, we don't, life. I know yeah. we do it for a living, right? But I can't. Press one through this all the way to ten, and then you press that. Then there's a sub menu. Like, yo, just let me talk to somebody. I'm just thinking one of our biggest clients. 
their call tree is is crazy. It is, and I'm I, just and I'm just like. That's why we put it back. Press you, five, but just you call somebody. It. You made it. <laughs> Press five to call somebody there. You made it. I know because okay, that's what fits that ourselves. client. <laughs> but that's what fits that client. Yeah, but I mean, we have one, but it's very simple. You know, one for this, two for that, three for that. Everything else, dial four. You know, or something like go that. away. <laughs> right. I mean, but email us. Yeah, right. <laughs> fax us. Send us a fax if you can't get through. Right, right, right. You know, no. I just I'm not big in all that. Just let me talk to somebody. I'm I, all about getting stuff done now. I got you, bro. I got you. Yeah. I mean, so so I mean, so that kind of ties into what we're going to be talking about today. Um, how COVID nineteen has changed the way small businesses work. Right, right. That's right? kind of kind right. of some of a segue. But. I mean, so I'm I'm going to directly move that to there. So, <laughs> uh, you know, like so, how do one of the biggest things? Definitely, wow, that's true because we used to have so many in person meetings back at the office. Right, right. Now we don't. I think which we, is which is honestly somewhat of a challenge. I won't say a challenge. It's I don't like it as much. Like. I'm a people person. I like, I would much rather meet with you and talk to you face to face than I would to talk to you on the phone. You mean I'm not a big phone talker than to shoot emails back and forth. I just. Yeah, but we use. All right. So. So this is perfect, right? How do you think we've changed? I mean, what do we've how do, changed? How do we? Let's talk. Let's talk. Us. You want to talk, talk us, us first. Talk us, us first. But so so the overar- overarching topic, topic of this is, video is how um, how. How's how COVID has changed, changed small how small business. businesses yeah, exactly. Work, right? So the biggest the biggest piece for us was communication. Oh, uh, was yeah, it was huge. I think it was huge, right? So um, I think a lot of people have gone through this, you know, and and, and it, it, it's like so embedded into your company, right? I mean, well, it changes the culture. I think that's the big the, thing. It definitely changes the culture. Yeah. So and we're big on we're huge on culture. So huge on culture. Huge on culture. So um, so how do, for you? As the as the CEO, the owner, how does that affect the way you manage, the way you get your point across, the way you interact with your with your team, the way you manage the managers? You know what I mean, or right. the, the, the department heads, myself, other department heads. Like, how does that how does that work? You and I, we, it, I don't really, I don't, I don't care. I can be in Timbuktu. I feel right, like right. we would just, you know, agreed. But, you know, it's just, that's the way we operate, though. Well, I think that's the key word of what you said is culture. It's right. about. I think COVID-19 and, and the pandemic has been a huge culture shock for right. particularly smaller companies. We'll say small business. Uh, we're not going to discuss larger companies and everybody, whether you're one employer or, you know, 10,000 employees, you've been affected. Right. So right. but I want to focus on small businesses because that's where we kind of that's where our expertise is. Um, I think it's a huge culture thing. And, and some of these businesses had a massive culture shock, you know, especially those leaders and business owners that are micromanaged right or they like to micromanage or they're very tight on their staff or they like to have their hands on everything all those things i think that was a huge shock to them because they can't do that anymore right um you know ever there's lots of business owners that were like no my staff needs to be here i'm just not gonna be able to operate unless i can you know see you and and completely interact with you um for me and for us it's a little bit different um I like we talked before, we kind of come 360, right? Yeah. Start at the company working from home, working remotely, right? right and right. then, you know, grew the company and and then had an office space, you know, pretty big office space, commercial office space. And now we're kind of back to working remotely. So it's kind of a 360 there. But from a, a leadership point of view, it was somewhat of a change. But my leadership style has always been very dynamic anyway, right? Yeah. It's always been. Uh, a lot of leaders, I mean, there's multiple leadership styles, right? You have authoritative and laissez-faire and all these different yep. ones. The The best leadership style is the one that you you cultivate from different leaders that you have. Right. You take little bits of pieces there and you mold and create your own leadership style, right? right. But a lot of leaders have one leadership style. Like, I'll give you a quick example. This CEO I know in a local area very successful company he would read all these leadership books and his leadership style was like one pinpoint thing like one channel tunnel vision he read things in the books and this is what he just parroted like he just right. repeated that and it was it was ultimately his downfall in his business because people didn't want to work with him only the people that were receptive to that leadership style stuck around and everybody else was like i'm out of here you know, and it just happened to be authoritative, right? Right. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, when you have a leadership style that's cultivated and it's changed, 
and dynamic, then you're, you're like my leadership style is that. And it's learning what each individual person is. You know, I used to have a saying when I teach the leadership seminars and management seminars, I always like to say, you know, um, learn what makes your employees tick and not what ticks them off, you know? Yeah. And I'm so sure I'm not the only one that said that in the world. That? I'm sure somebody else has said that, right? I might be stealing that from somebody. So whoever originated that, I, you know, I give you the credits for that. But that's one thing I've always used, right? Learn what makes your employees tick, not what ticks them off, right? So you have to learn what, I mean, you definitely want to learn what ticks them off so you don't do it. But the, the premise of that is, is learn how each individual person works how they learn how they react how how they respond to different leadership styles or being told what to do or being asked what to do right and that's kind of what i do and it just it makes it my style right and then working remotely is i've managed you know remote workplaces and remote employees throughout my career when i was a global it manager i mean i had offices in london i had offices in florida i had offices in maryland and so uh, in Israel. So, I mean, I managed remotely before. It takes your leadership style to a different level because you can't see, you can't just run in somebody's office or immediately talk to somebody like that. So it, it does change. I think for, um, you know, my side of the house, I think it really poked holes in a couple of different people. <clears throat> you know what I mean? <clears throat> Where it's just like, well, I was actually doing a lot of work for you because I was right there. Um, that was that was a major piece that I found right. out. Um, it was more so. Um, it's, it's different when somebody's writing you a question or pinging you something every single day about mm-hmm. a certain problem or what they're actually doing versus, you know, me just asking you casually, "Hey, Jay, what do you think about this? You know, this client's going through this, or this is a, a troubleshooting problem." But if I'm constantly getting pings from you nonstop all day. It's just like, well, okay, so let me look at you a little bit different. Like, what are, what are you doing? What are you, are you learning? You've been here for a while. Or you're just asking or questions just and asking not doing the work. questions and not doing the work. So that, yeah. it, it kind of, it kind of sh- uh, shined a light on a lot of different things. Um, and it, it, it made me say, hey, all right, we definitely need to do some training. We definitely need to mm-hmm. do some training. We need to look back and sit back and say, hey, this is how certain things work. We got to even look at the basics. Um, mm-hmm. um, and create, and, and, and learn how to not have because I mean we, have, we use teams so we use teams and not have certain things in certain uh, group chats and stuff like that have certain things a little bit more private um, chat, have some check-ins with some with some with some employees I think that's accountability, that's accountability. That's a, that, I think yeah. that's the biggest thing during the COVID yeah. and well not just COVID but working remotely is yeah. having accountability and making sure you enforce that accountability right. not just say the words and go through the motions right. it, like you said if you have check-ins have the check-ins that if somebody's not checking in well, you have to have accountability yeah, you for that because you, you're not in the building, so you can't just go get them, right? Right, right, exactly. So I think that's the biggest piece, you know what I mean? And it, it made some some personal changes. We've done that, um, you know, for the better. We've got some, got some great people, um, yep. which, I mean, knock stuff out. Secretly, but yeah. noted that it's not relative to just COVID. It's not relative to COVID. Uh, it, it was just, to me, it was it's just coming like, anyway. Yeah, it was coming it was anyway, coming but anyway. It, it really just like... Hey, spotlight on that. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Great word it is spotlight. On spotlight that. on that. Yeah. I think a lot of, I think for, I mean, for us, man, like it did COVID highlighted a lot of the weaknesses that we just patched real quick. It was really mm-hmm. cool. A lot of the things that we just kind of glossed over, you know what I mean? Right. That right. we did. I don't say we thought maybe we knew it, but I don't know. We didn't really take action on it. Well, no, it was, the, it was the little things. And now those little things became not big things, but like you said, I, I mean, you hit it on the head, spotlight. Yeah. You know, before in an office space, you don't really wor- worry about those little things, right? Mm-hmm. They work themselves out. They'll do it during the end of the day while they're in the office because they have to walk past it or, right. or whatever it may be, or it's on the whiteboard. But right. when they're not in the office and they're working remotely, those things are now going to our subconscious and we don't pay attention to them. Exactly. Or they're not apparent to, the, to that employee. So... They're now spotlighted, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think one of the other things, uh, not really relative to us, but to all small businesses, is I think one thing that developed, and I won't say completely, but one thing developed, leaders developed or small business owners, because there is a difference there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, small business owners uh, started to develop compassion and empathy, right? Where, yes, you have to, and there's two sides to this. One is, we're, one, we're in a global pandemic. Two, you're working from home. 
Three, you have maybe you have kids at home. Right, right. You have barking dogs. You have noisy neighbors. Whatever it is, or your house is not conducive to a work environment, right? Right. right. Um, so maybe you you live in a small home or a small place and it's condensed. Or maybe the opposite, you live in a big place and you're so far apart that you can't keep an eye on your kids or whatever the, no. the scenario may be. So empathy and compassion had to been developed for that. Yeah. But then the other side is um, leaders and small business owners started to turn into micromanagers as well, whereas they weren't in the office because they were in that conden- condensed or contained right. office, yep. now they're not. So now they're nervous, like, oh, is this not getting done? Is this not happening? Let me in, you know, enforce myself on somebody, right? And, yeah. and bring them in and start to micromanage. So glad we haven't, yeah, we're nowhere near. Yeah, that's awesome. No, we, we, for us, speaking for us, our companies, it's only gotten better from a leadership standpoint, a management right. standpoint, efficiency, you know, yeah. being effective. But, we were somewhat ahead of the game, if you will, before this started. Like we always plan things out. We always yeah. look here, always look there. And working remotely before starting the company, mm. um, it just it helped us to kind of just really just get on ball with it and yeah. rock and roll. And I feel like I feel like for us, um, it's. I mean, we break down a lot of like different barriers in the office as well. So, I mean, we combine offices. Yeah. Who does that? Yeah, yeah. You so, know what I'm so talk about that for a minute because that's really so. Start when we were in the that was, in the corporate office, right? So we were in the office and we com- we. When you we, say we, who's we? You and I. Yes. Right. So, who does that? I mean, a lot of people are right. like, "I'm the owner. I'm the CEO. I'm going to have my corner office here." Blah 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 blah. I, but that just speaks to my leadership. I don't. I did have a pretty sweet. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was actually pretty wild. It was <laughs> massive. Sweet office. It was like yeah, it was a massive office. Office. Yes. But so the problem is like. We were, I was always either in your office, you were always in my office, like it was, right. or we would just go take a drive somewhere and like get out and think. But it was just wasting time. It was wasting time. It was wasting time. If I could just time. go like this and be like, hey, Jay. Yo, that's, know. and that's what we did. So we were like, why crazy. don't we just freaking combine? We're getting so much stuff done. The changes that we were making, we're obviously seeing some massive improvements from either in house. Also, it turn, it's turning into revenue. So we're seeing a revenue spike. I mean, just because of the things that we're just putting out, putting out, putting out. Yeah. Um, so why not do that? And I think, I think, um, and I could have been like, no, I want my freaking own office too. You know I could I mean? be like, Psh, yeah, yeah, what, you know I want what you? I mean? Like, what do I want to do? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. So either way, I mean, because, you know, we're both in, you know, these positions where people are like, oh, you know, I, you know. I got a chip on my shoulder type situation. Right? I don't. I don't do deal with power struggles. Yeah, and you know titles. what I'm saying. I've had every title. Yeah. From PC technician all the way right. to CEO. Exactly. You know, and every in so, between. So it's not. So, about that. Yeah. So it's not about. It was, but it was just. Yeah. It was just to show that hey, if you find something that works, freaking do it. Break the boundaries or break the perception that you might have in your head or your mind or what other people are thinking. And mm-hmm. you're like, why would I do that? You know, I've worked like 15 years to have this corner office right, and do this. Right. You know what I mean? Um, I haven't, you know, to get my own parking spot, whatever there might be. But that's the small business culture. I mean, yeah. that's, that's a different culture when you get in the, the medium and large companies yeah. and you see it on the wall. I worked 15 years. I finally get my, but that's all about selfishness. So we talked yeah, about that exactly. earlier at lunch, right? This is not, when you're in a small business, it can't be about selfishness. It has to be about working together. Yeah. And I say it all the time, get the hell out of your own way. Yeah. You know, if I'm in my own way, it does me no good in growing a company. It does no one, none of the staff good. No. So I'm not too mm-hmm. proud to share an office. I'm not too proud to do X or, or Y or no. whatever it may be, okay. because it's about what's going to be best for the company. Right. Company does better. I do better. Exactly. That's so. just my, my thinking. Right. So, yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's one of the biggest takeaways that I've seen, you know, from being in large companies and whatever, you know, medium, small, whatever it is. And I, I think that mm-hmm. that one right there was an testament to like, all right, who you are as a person. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, myself as well, like the management style, you know what I mean? Has to be done. You know, you have to just figure it out, figure it out, work the problem, mm-hmm. solve it. Let's go. Exactly, know? exactly. I mean, and that's what, what worked for us. And the other thing that really um, helped us get through, helped, whatever you want to call it, is um, being open minded. Like, we got rid of some partnerships. We were open to new partnerships. Mm-hmm. We, were, we were open to new um, uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Not partnerships, but new uh, changes, new vendors. Oh, new standardization. That's oh, what wow, I was we looking did. for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did we, that. Yeah. <laughs> Before we stand on this and we we're like, no, this is what works. But no, let's be open to something new and let's standardize on something new. Right. Even so, even if you cut at your um, your profit a little bit, I right. think that's I think that's a big thing, too. You know what I mean? I think we should talk about that. Even if the decisions you have to make, you know, cut at your profit a little bit, but it, it gives you, it gives your, your clients a better product, mm -hmm. do that. Well, yeah, it's you reinvesting in the company. You see, like it's, from it, day it, one, I did that. Right. But it doesn't, so it might not take, it might not be the same look at you as you used to. It might not be, no, I'm not going to take the bonus of, of this. It may be, hey, let me take a dollar fifty profit, $2, $5, whatever it might be, profit, <clears throat> get a better, you know, product and give that back to the clientele right. you know what i'm saying right right at maybe the same or reduced price you know that is something that we you definitely looked at that's something we definitely looked at i think we Absolutely. did we did uh, it was almost a month of just going through vendors standards types yeah. of products all right we're getting rid of this product why but uh, this product is more expensive but we're not going to make you are we going to charge people for that no we're not charging people for that right, right you know now. You know, that's just an enhancement of a service. It's, it's an enhancement of a service, and people need to look at that and understand that. Hey, yeah, um, you know, COVID's happening. People are hurting for cash, but then what do you have to do as a company? You have right. to look at yourself and say, "Hey, this is the time that I'm going to re reinvest back into the company, come out with a kick-ass product, mm -hmm. and even even you know raise ourselves to a different level, so that you still find the value in that because people are going to pay for value." Right. Regardless, right. You know, people are going to pay for value. So I think that's something that we definitely did that worked. I don't know. We did, I mean, absolutely increased the value. We, we looked at, like you said, we looked at all the services. We increased what services to provide a better product, better value of the service. Right. Um, uh, we lowered prices in some areas and uh, we increased prices in other areas. And we put the, together packages instead of selling, you know, things like a la carte. We kind of yeah. put them like we created a really kick ass cybersecurity program yep. like from a free tier to a affordable tier yep. to like a, a higher tier and yep. um, I mean it's still all, all affordable but it's just the way it's packaged is sweet, sweet. It, yeah. and it, it makes sense for any business especially today in the cybersecurity world and we're seeing Definitely. breaches all the time so yeah. you know if you have to spend a couple hundred bucks a month to train your staff I mean that's a no brainer yeah. in, in my opinion yeah. um, but let's talk about what, what other companies what other small businesses went through doing during this whole i mean we're not out of COVID. i mean no we're not by no means but we are you know as they said back in the day we're you know we hit that plateau that yeah. that curve so to speak yeah. um you know this is you know march of 2021 we've been doing this a year now yeah. and uh some of the things that i've noticed especially with our clients is um a majority of our clients handled it really 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 well so yeah. so kudos to them um which made our job much easier. Yep. Um, working together was was amazing. Yep. The biggest thing we saw was uh, two things. One, in working remotely, is uh, a good handful of clients didn't have the ability to work remotely, but they recognized it. They reached out. We put a plan together. We either advanced on the hardware, got the hardware, whatever it was, on pricing, compromised, came yeah. up with monthly payment plans yep. and got them set up and got them squared away. And, and they didn't miss a beat, so to speak exactly. from, from, from that point of view. Exactly. You know, I don't know. I can't speak to all their businesses. Um, and then the, I think the other big thing that we noticed was, or that I noticed was, um, taking somebody out of their element. Yeah. So we've had several, you know, uh, occasions and where you've taken somebody out of their work environment out of where they go to work every day mm -hmm. and you stick them home doing the same thing using the same computer and they're lost they don't know what to do yeah um and that's just creatures of habit we're creatures of habit yeah and uh i don't know you want you want to speak that have you i know you've had some personal experience yeah I've definitely with, had some, with, some, some, some with some of that crazy stuff yeah. yeah um so you know what i've done um personally i mean and it's a little, I'm probably on the extreme side. Um, I literally would wake up, <clears throat> no matter what time, I'm not going to say when I wake up. I mean, sometimes we get up at 6.30 <coughs> based on clients Excuse me. and do whatever. I would literally <clears throat> just wake up and um, I'm already have my laptop charging and I just pull my laptop up and just start working. Right. Right. So 
I mean, if you think at it from that point and you, so from 6.30, do it, um, get to a certain point, 8 o'clock, 8.30, then guess what? I mean, hop in the shower, do what I need to do, start working again, bang, 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 meet you for lunch. We start going over stuff for lunch, come back, work, 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 work. Um, and kids don't have soccer practice or anything anymore. <laughs> right. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, I would just work, 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 and then having to uh, eat dinner, and then, you know, they do baths, I do whatever, and then... I don't know. I don't. How random would it be? I'm taking a drink. I hit you up on Teams. You're like, I'm like, what's up, bro? You're like, what's going on? And then we start working. I'm drinking, and we're having, you know, we're having a little, you know, I'm drinking some some whiskey. You're drinking, a, you know, some wine, and we're working again. And next thing you know, it's like ten o'clock. And that, you know what I'm saying? And that's the crazy thing because that's one thing that that changed with us is yeah. that, you know, and I, I can't speak to other providers, but. You know, typically our hours are six thirty a.m. to five p.m. Right? right, roughly around there. But because people were working from home, that six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, nine thirty, ten o'clock call or support ticket, we responded and we took care of those like clients at eight thirty at night for whatever reason they're now working or right. they're able to work or whatever right. whatever they're doing. They put a ticket in. They're not expecting us to get it till the next morning. And we're taking care of that. We're remoting in the machines. We're talking with these people. Exactly. So, you know, and that's the flexibility we're able to provide. If if our clients are going through, you know, we're, we're all going through something together. Yeah. This global pandemic. Yeah. And if they need to make changes in their business in order to operate, survive, maintain, right. we need to accommodate them. We can't say, oh, sorry, five o'clock. Uh, you know, I'm doing what I need to do. Yeah. No, it doesn't happen. We've never been that way. Yeah. You know, we've always extended the courtesy of after hour support when it was an emergency. Right. But now it's, hey, my printer's not working, but this is their time period to work. Maybe because they have kids, they're working from home or they're they're not working from home during the day. They're doing whatever it is. It's a they're, rotating type of schedule. Right. Their spouse, spouse comes over or whatever. So now they take over the kids. So now theirs is there's from four to nine or they, whatever. They can work. Yeah. And. You know, we, we, we sat down, we talked about that. And so at first it was just like, hey, we just got to do whatever it is to take, take care of the clients. I think it was from, you know, March, April, May, March, April, May, June, June-ish. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and you know, then from, from my standpoint, I was looking at the team and the team was just getting worn out. The, the team was just getting hit. You know, I mean, we were, like you said, six, six to six, six to eight, you know, six in the morning, six, eight o'clock at night. That wasn't like. Our set time ahead of, ahead of time, but like you said, we had to make that you know adaptation based on what the clients needed and what we needed to do. So, you know, you know what we did and what we talked about it. You know, hey, we'll have uh, you know talks with the clients. We'll say, hey, now we started to have to go back and set reset expectations for COVID. Mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest piece. A lot of people, you know, haven't really set what their expectations are after they've made these massive changes, these sweeping changes to right. accommodate their clients. And then you kind of get black holed. And then you're just, you're sitting here, you're in the mud, yep. you're in some quicksand, you know? Right. Because if I would allow that, and if I saw that, that issue and just kind of allowed it to happen, I think, Hey, may have lost a, a tech or two or because they still need some time to work and be with mm -hmm. the family and do that thing. You know, I've put on some personal boundaries where I'm like, okay, I need to put the laptop or whatever down <clears> for a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, and you remind me and you're like, hey, Jay, go get some sleep. Go do this. You know what I mean? Like, right, right, what are you right. still doing up? What are you doing? You <laughs> why, know? why are you awake? Why are you awake right now? You know what I mean? Like, hey, like stop responding to emails at two o'clock in the morning you right. know, uh, on a Monday or something like that. And it's like, just stop. You have to sit down. And you have to take these breaks. And, you know, you have to make sure that, I mean, because if you think about it, dude, I mean, a lot of times we were only getting like four or three hours, five, you know. And it was our own fault. We were just, we just, we were just working. It's that passion, you and know. We were just working. It wasn't even like, oh, it, right. It whatever wasn't, it made. It's just, right. I'm like, I can get this done. Ooh, I can get this done. Ooh, I can get this done. I mean, you know, I'm drinking with a drinking, and I'm doing this, and then I might stop for two hours, and you know, I'm watching a movie with the wife, and then she's like, hey, I'm going to bed. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, let me. <laughs> Thank goodness, I can go back to work. Yeah, he's like, hey, it was just like, hey, I'm gonna just, you know, finish this one thing, and I'll be in, and then it's just like. Uh, three hours later because she's knocked out and this is right. like I'm still working and then right. I work, it, it, it gets crazy so um, you know so I've had to set some personal boundaries on that part and kind of just put things into its own lane if you will mm -hmm. um, still I, you know leave times to work 12 hours whatever but um, you know and then just from a management piece you you saw that from me you're like hey chill the hell out and calm down a little bit saw that for the text and everybody I was like hey just this is how we're going to rotate. We're going to move some people around. You know, we're going to have people, you know, come in a little later. You know, 
do whatever yeah, we need to yeah. do just so people aren't getting burned just out. Just accommodate everybody. Exactly. Just accommodate and see. But that initial piece of, you know, we didn't charge people after hours for that. No, you know, no I mean, that would just, it just didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. Why it was our, mean? that's what we need to do to help our clients exactly. get through it. Just like they continue to pay their bills to, right. to help, not to help us get through it, but we all did our corporate responsibility of right. what we needed to do yep. to get through this, right? Yeah. Now, things are changing. We're coming out of it. A lot of companies are back to work. Most of our clients are back in the buildings, I would say, right? Yeah, back in the buildings. Some are still rotating right. out. They're, they're, they're going to continue to work. And they will, but we have to set that, you know, and we have. that. We that, have now, yeah. That expectation of, look, you're back in the office. You're working in the office. You're not going to get that seven, eight, nine o'clock, you're not. you know, support because it just doesn't make sense. Doesn't. You're back in the office. Exactly. You, so. you know, one day on, you know, two days off in the office, however they're doing it, we set that expectation. We're right. writing, you know, we adapted the security policy we've written um remote work policies we've mm -hmm. you know talked to the department heads or managers or hey this is our expectation for uh it support um mm -hmm. it got so bad that one client was like look i see all the ridiculous tickets people are putting right. in and it was like this is just stupid yeah, so what crazy. we're gonna do is all tickets are gonna go through me <laughs> right right i'm gonna put the ticket that, in that people. was wild that was crazy but but that's the relate relationship that, we have with our clients exactly they recognize like, i don't know how you guys get the process done. you know what i mean and we're like right. uh yeah yeah, you know, crazy. we created videos on how to do certain things for them. We trained her on how to do certain things. Well, that was one thing we added this year as our support, you yeah. know, as part of our support. You know, what we do now is we create these videos, which is a beautiful segue into one of the things I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, we created videos for support. You see the same issue happening over and over and over yes. again across clients. So what we did, we created a video and now we just respond to that ticket with the video, right? Exactly. And it's just more productive and the clients like it because now we have that personal engagement, right? right. They're seeing us in the video. We're like, hey, 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 do this, do this. Okay, and for next time, here's how to actually click through and exactly. do it. Exactly. And then we create this database of how to do certain things. You know, remap a drive, how to troubleshoot a drive, missing, right. you know, certain just little things, how to get your computer name so we can remote in. Same thing with phones. You know, we do screen like recordings of screen recording iPads and phones. And how to download the Office 360 Hey, hey and one of the docs doesn't know how to set up their email. Exactly. Or they want to set up their regular, or, you know, different type of email. Like, hey, screen recording, text it to them. Bing, boom, done. Done. I mean, we're talking Saves people. us a trip. It does. That's a two-hour trip. We don't have to dispatch. Know? I mean, we're, we're and, and you think about it, some of these people are like, you know, 70 80 years old they get this freaking <laughs> they get this freaking video of how to do it and they're responding hey this is freaking awesome right. done it, and, and you're like, and, and you're not exaggerating when you say that you know i'm not, so, I'm some, not exaggerating so, you know, some of the researchers we have some of the you know docs we have are kind of they're, they're, i mean yeah i mean we're talking data scientists people yeah, yeah, who are yeah. like you know freaking the, legit right mad scientist rock or rocket, rocket scientist. scientist legit rocket scientist yeah 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 <laughs> you know so yeah and they're they're getting this new stuff and we're implementing this new stuff and they're like hell yeah this is yep. freaking awesome which is the like, oh, you can mm -hmm. text support now yeah, exactly and you, and that's the other thing we did so we did videos for support right we also um implemented texting where you Making can text our main number easier making it give them any way of communication right. Uh, to us to be able to communicate with us. So now we text our main number. Yeah. And then we have somebody monitoring that all the time. Yep. You text the main number. Now you can get immediate response. Yep. You don't have to go through an auto attendant yes. and call. Yeah, I still got to tell people, hey, please do not text me. Yeah. yeah I am so busy. Don't text if me I, personally. If I don't look at my phone right. for two hours because I'm on an email and I'm looking at this and I'm following right. up or I'm doing a project, that's – I. Can't but that's a good that. point because a lot of people, their mentality is, oh, let me text them so I have their cell phone number because no. I'm going to get a quicker response. You actually may not because we may be busy doing X, Y, Z in a meeting, doing a proposal, whatever it I is. I might be in a building where I'm not allowed to have a cell phone. Right, right. You may not have, have, exactly. So there may be two, three hours go by, but if you put a ticket in the help desk, Boom. that goes to multiple people right. and you can get addressed quicker. Yeah, so just, just, just setting that up, talking about that. I mean, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of cool things that we implement. I and I'm, I, you know, I've seen a lot of different people implement the same thing. Um, I mean, just even if you're talking big box stores, right? Even <clears throat> I think we we went to I don't know. We had to pick some stuff up for you or, for what? It was like Best Buy or somebody or I like Lowe's these Best or Buy. it was somebody, and it was just like, do this, text this, boom, Bing, 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 and then they just brought it out. To the oh car. yeah, curbside, the curbside. Yeah, a lot of people. Everybody's doing. come up with some crazy, cool. you know, way to just like improve customer service. You have to be able to do it, or you yeah. can't survive. Yeah. So let's talk about two other, there's two other things I wanted to talk about um, with this topic. And one is e-learning. 
So like e-learning just blew up. That industry blew up for everybody. Yeah. What else are you going to do when you're home and not able to do a lot of work? Well, hopefully you're taking advantage of e-learning. Netflix and chill. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's, I guess that's a form of e-learning. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. right. <laughs> it's e-drama learning. I'm watching documentaries. <laughs> right. You know, I mean, but that industry is blown up. You see yeah. new big players that are coming out in that. Yep. Um, you know, I do training. I mean, I would venture to say at least 10 hours a week. Yeah. Um, and most of the time it's on my own, yep. my own personal time. I'm on this thing of 2021, and we've talked about before, of a path I want to follow educationally with certifications and things. So I'm always doing it. You know, I took another course uh, Friday on right. social engineering. Right. Um, I mean, we do that, yep. but I learned a couple new techniques and tactics from that. And yeah, I mean, new CMC stuff is coming out. There's a lot of yeah, there's reading, a lot of crazy weekly stuff. blogs that we read. Just but to make video, sure we're on top of those things. Yeah, video is is video has been king for a couple of years now. When you yep. real when it's relative to SEO, yep. right, search engine optimization, but now it's actually even more of a king because everything is video, whether it's YouTube videos or communication videos like Zoom and Teams and you know things like that. Um, so video is a huge thing, and I I encourage everybody to get behind a camera like we did, and you don't have to create a podcast, but like anybody yeah. who knows me, I cannot stand my picture taken. The camera hates me. <laughs> To get behind a video camera, it's even worse. So, right, right, right. But, you know, just what what is Nike's slogan? Just do it, right? And and just go do it. Get out of your own way. Get out of your comfort zone. Just do it. Nobody cares about if it's perfect or not, right? Right. You know, um, and I always use the analogy of going from regular TV to mm -hmm. reality TV. People love reality TV. They don't like scripted TV, yeah, right? It's boring. It's not real life. Yep. So that's the same thing as we're moving forward. Now, you don't have to have a perfect video or perfect audio. You can say a cuss word or you can create, cough or create sneeze. Create the content, give, yeah. it, give it to them for free and they'll come. Yeah, I mean, well, it's all about creating great content, you know? I mean, our, our the reason we're doing this podcast is to share content with people, that's it. right? That's all it's for. Um, I'm definitely stepping out of my comfort zone. Somebody's going to like it. I mean, well, hopefully, hopefully somebody I likes it. You know. Hey, what do we need? A thousand subscribers to be like, get our own vetting? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we need a thousand. So help us get to a thousand subscribers. Bada bing, bada <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what a lot of YouTubers do? They put all these things. Yeah. They pull, yeah, yeah. yeah. Click the like comment, button. Comment. Click now. like notifica notification. Yeah, all that crazy that. stuff. Yeah, up there. Yeah, wherever yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so that's big. That's one big one. And another big one I wanted to talk about talking about changes during COVID, right? What, how companies change or businesses yeah. change is a tire. And I'm a big one for that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. A tire. Yo, I mean, I used to wear a suit. I used to wear, that's crazy. You know, dress slacks and a, you know, a nice, Me too. my Joseph A. Bang shirt. Yeah. We used to dress. We used to look swag. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but that's cause I used to like coming out, coming out of that. Like, Oh no. Yeah. yeah oh, right. I cannot I, do it. Imagine going back. I, I might. I might. I was thinking about it the other day. You're going to do what? I'm going to start dressing the way I used to dress. So we're top, bro. Nah. We say that now because we're in a pandemic. No, I think like we start, we stopped doing that before that, right? Did no. We, no. <laughs> no. But I feel like, like we've been in this time yeah. war for like two years I now. know. I've never gone to a client in sweatpants in my life. Hold on. You I went mean, to a client with sweatpants? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I went to. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Time out. Time out. Time out. Did you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, like it was just, I didn't even like realize how I was dressed. I was like, all right, we got to do this. Oh, you know what? I need to stop by there and do that and do that. Oh, that that's why. But it, yeah. It wasn't was like, like a, oh, yeah, okay. It wasn't, no, it wasn't like I was slumming it. It, it was, was like, it oh, let me go to the client. It's actually totally acceptable because people were there were like. Well, well, that was the thing. And then shorts, you know, during last summer, I was wearing shorts. Yeah. I mean, they weren't like cut off jean shorts or anything. Yeah, you got, got cut off like jean shorts. Nah, I got it was like you had holes in them and the face. <laughs> No, man. <laughs> no, like a nice pair of cargo shirts. But I wore our company T-shirts yeah, and yeah, I didn't yeah, wear yeah, a polo yeah. shirt. Right, like, right. I haven't been wearing polo. Like, I, I usually, before the pandemic, I would always wear dress slacks and a polo shirt. So I went from a dress shirt. I went from a suit. Yeah, you went to the suit, to the dress shirt. To with dress the dress shirt. To the, with the open collar. Right. To the, the from, polo. To, to the tie with no jacket. Right. Then right. with just the open, open neck right. dress shirt. Two dress pants and a polo. And I wore that for a long, long time. Very long time. 
Yeah. And then now it's with like, that, I don't even wear, I have so many company polos. I don't even that, wear them. It's company t-shirts now. Big ass. Oh, like clip cell phone ah, thing, yeah. dude. All right. So let's talk about the so two box. Other, so, like, <laughs> that thing is like, so two other things oh, I've right, changed. Bro. Thanks to you yes. and your millennial <laughs> minimalistic way. So my big ass wallet that was like this big, that dude, you had gave me like, back pain. The, that dude, it was protruding from your back pocket. <laughs> if anybody saw so, you walking, so look, he has a wallet in his back so right look, pocket. Let me make sure. You just right. pulled it from your right, didn't you? You did. Yeah, I just pulled it. So this is now my wallet. This thin. You can yeah, see you this. Like there, it's yeah. thin. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. I'm not going to show my license or anything on there. And then now this is now my phone. Right, it's perfect. Where, where I had a huge, it wasn't it like wasn't like a phone from 1980. It was the same phone, but I had the big outer box on the outside. It was on the outside with the clip. Yeah, yeah, with a clip. With a clip. I and was then, like, and then I would get caught on my door, and it would slam snap off. off. It was like, what the? Fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah. So there's two big changes I made, like, yeah. or three big changes. You know, my attire, this, and my wallet. They're right. big changes. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, you've there's a lot of things that changed. You don't go, you go to a client like now, you have an <laughs> iPad. Right, 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 right. Instead of like that big old <laughs> the briefcase you, well, the, thing. Yeah, the backpack over the shoulder thing. That thing was yeah. crazy. Like you're just like, hey, this works. Let me get this done. Exactly. Let me move in a certain It's about way being efficient and effective. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So but I mean, that's changing for a lot of clients is attire, yeah. right? You know, the attire is different for clients now. We're Where you would wear something before, you're not wearing that at work now. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. You know? And then people at home, I know a handful of people recently I've talked to that still dress up every day working from home because they have to have that mental, you know, energy that that's what they're doing. I mean, not, is it serious <laughs> on top and party at on bottom? Hey, like, it, it, no, it's like the whole thing because they told me if they wore like sweatpants or shorts or their pajamas, seriously? they are not working. Like, I, dude, they I, would be I, on the couch I not it. working. I love it. I'm like, look, like I'm here. Let's they go. have to play the part in order to be effective. I'm so comfortable. I'm like, I'm just like knocking stuff out. Like love yeah. right. It's insane. Yeah. Now, Grant, no, let me let me make a, a statement. When we're going to meet a client, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a new I'm client or a PJs. client, I mean, it's attire is totally completely different. Yeah, different. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. Yeah, we're not. That, but if but if I'm like in the ceiling, uh, you know, doing right, cable right. or we're doing a camera system or we're doing some access. If we're gonna get dirty, stuff, I'm not wearing nice clothes. I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? And um, and as and pointing out as the CEO, as the owner of the company, I still enjoy doing that once in a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. So I don't mind doing that. Dude, you what know? did we do that last time? Was we like, just hey, did it four or five months me? ago. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. we did the that big six thousand sport six thousand square foot sports right. Event. Or if I'm like, hey, <clears throat> I got some major server stuff I got to do over the weekend, and I don't trust nobody to do it. You know, I'm like, yeah. hey, I'm gonna go do this. He's like, oh, shoot. oh I'll come with you. Oh, I love working. And then we'll just be up to however late in the freaking data it's center somewhere great. doing some crazy hey, and those nights stuff. we get to get Arby's <laughs> that's like the highlight of the night because it's the only thing out there in, yeah. in the boonies is yep, freaking yep. Arby's or and we don't eat fast it. food nah, it's yeah, very it's, yeah, often it's, it's, it's not fun. very often it's fun to be able to do it and still yeah. you know figure but some stuff out some I just, crazy stuff happens and we're sitting there like what the I think that's the shift work that I used to work is that I, I like to work at night like that because yeah. it's quiet and I think I can knock stuff out instead of the hectic of the day. Of the day yeah. But I still love to get my hands dirty and, and yeah. do things, good stuff. you know, once in a while. We changed some memory last week because nobody could go to it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, sometimes I just like to go just to be there and just like, are you done yet? <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's your favorite words out of my mouth. Are you done yet? Dude, because here's the, here's, so here's the problem, right? So <laughs> if... It, for a long time, if people saw you or I show up, they were like, oh, my God, what's broken? Yeah, what the, the, <laughs> the fire department's here, right? What's broken? They're, we're right. just like, oh, nothing. Everything's cool. They're like, oh, okay. Where's the other guys? I'm like, <laughs> they're doing something. I don't know. Right, 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 right. You know, We're just here. We're talking. And then we'll do it just for, like, you know, client development and speaking. Of just, course. It's we freaking miss these. We miss some people, you know? Yeah, we miss you our know? clients. So we'll do it. They're like, what the heck are you guys doing here? <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? Is the internet down? <laughs> Everything's broken. Something <laughs> seriously must be broken. Yeah. So No, um, we just like to do it. I mean, you're like me. You like, you know, you like to do hands on once in a while. Yeah, we do. And it, it's, it's cool. Nice. It's fun. You know, if the day I don't ever have to touch a printer again. True. I, I think I'm starting to get on that bandwagon because I don't like them. I think. Yeah. But here's the thing. But this is the type of people there. When we're on site at a client and somebody says, oh, can you take a look at me? I'm doing I'm it. sorry. I'm an executive. I put it. Put it. Uh, put a ticket. Yeah, in. you need to put a ticket in. I, I'm the director of okay. the services. I tell you, put a ticket. <laughs> yeah, I'm an executive. I can't do it. No way in the world. No, I'm doing That's it. That's crazy. You're just though. gonna do it. I hate printers. I hate printers. Uh, but it's you fun. got real good. 
Hey, bro, my home printer's jacked up. Can you look at this? I'm like, what? Dude, I dude. saw that ticket come in today. <laughs> home printer. Hold up. Yeah, we had. I mean, we've had clients. They were working at home. They now go home. They go out and buy think, all this equipment I for think home. My, I think my Facebook is hacked. Yeah. What do you mean you think? I don't understand. What do you? And I, then I had to like hit you up. I was like, hey, um. Are we managing Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> Not for this client. Are we managing? Is, do, we, do we do that? It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but, my TV is not working. I can't get I my can't call, Alexa working. Call the help desk. What? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Next next time we'll go over some some uh, some crazy help desk. Oh, that's a good idea. We we'll go over that. some crazy because I have some awesome help yeah, desk yeah, yeah, stories. Awesome help desk back in the day. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So we'll talk about we'll that next that. time. Yeah. Um, for this time, I mean, that's all I had. That's for, all I have. For, I don't want to beat COVID nineteen to death, but I think we should. We, we touched on it once. We'll let yeah, it go. we had to talk about it. We had to talk about you know how companies have changed, how we changed and. You know, we recognize that other companies have yep. changed and things that they've done and yep. that, you know, we love our clients and yep. we appreciate our clients. And, you know, I always say um, without employees, we don't have clients. Without clients, we don't have employees. So okay. I treat them both the same, at the highest level. They both mean the same to me. And um, boom. That's what we do, bro. All right, brother. Until next time, uh, make sure yep. you like, subscribe. Um, we're going to actually pop on some other YouTube channels in the future because we're going to have some different things. We're going to put our Facebook LinkedIn on yep. there. So please yep. take a look at that. Check it out. If you got anything, some future video ideas, put them in the comments below. Yeah. Other than Let that, us man, know. We are out. Next time. All right. Later.